guys so yeah basically my name is medvin medvin david so i came to ireland in the beginning of 2019 so uh i started here for griffith college as a, a master student in big data management and analytics so basically this was one course which i was looking mostly into and go, when i got the chance i definitely choose that one so and it has been a good thing like uh i think i've been here with uh, amit from not from the very beginning i'll say but when 2019 starting itself i've been like talking with amit and from all the starts of dac and this has been a good initiative like even especially like uh when it was even the very few of us it helped us like what you say share our ideas and get more into like uh as a pressure at that time it actually helped me also like uh go through how the island process is going like how the island market is basically i'll say then that's all like mm, uh, that's a small introduction for me yeah go on uh i actually was not looking into the college first because i was mostly focusing into the course which i needed so uh there was like the data analytics course and uh in like all, almost all colleges, I think, offers that analytics. But here, Griffith College, I was like, what I did was like go through their websites, then download the whole course materials, which they, it will be published over there. So actually, this course actually had the courses, uh, had the papers which I had in mind, or like which I was looking into more. So I thought I will go with uh, uh, like same course, college that offers like. College actually didn't much matter to me. That's what uh, it's from my perspective. Okay, that's all. Oh yes, of course. Like part time, yeah. Uh, I started like I'll say after two months. I uh, two or three months. I think I uh, started it with the part time after coming here. So uh, that was also good. Like I got into like Tesco first of all. Like there were like it was a good experience actually for me. Like it actually helps us to like get to know the people here more like uh for example say we are new in a country it helps us with the culture how like a, uh, how the team works are going over here like the uh, for me the part time was a crucial step like to understand more into the irish culture and like uh it's also helping me right now like while i'm here with the other companies doing here so it gives like it uh reduces the gap between as an Indian and an, as, as an Irish colleague. So it reduces basically the gap between the work environments there. Mm, uh, like what I used to do is like just apply, like uh, go through at that time, the part-time side thing mostly I will be in Indeed. Then like uh, the Tesco, Aldi, Little, all those like the bigger things, they will have like their own websites, their career pages will be there. Just finish their few questionnaires and hopefully they will go with that. But also it is good to have a reference if someone is working in a part-time actually. So uh, like, for example, like uh, we have like the Centras or any of the uh, part-time jobs, if someone of like some of our friends or someone is working over there, uh, it is a good, uh, chance to get into the working environment and that's it yeah yeah like it was basically through the career websites and mostly through there mm -hmm. uh yeah so basically yeah that that course was the main expert for this jo job interview like which i rarely joined with the cyber risk away so basically i was interviewed only for the like data analyst role but our project is starting till only like in this coming three months so they basically had my interview and process was over and they just needed me to finish some uh like the backlogs and everything yeah like so if you are like what i'll say is like focusing more on to a particular career and uh i was mostly looking into data and this job and i did uh not i did uh not much like any uh, like what you say the other uh certification courses much but it was basically with the watch the masters i had and that was a luck i will say it was a pure luck for this company to uh, call me like but there are other companies that looks uh mostly into like the experiences and it is better i will say to add some of your pro as a fresher because 
I was working as a PHP developer back in India. And when I came here, it's a completely new role for me, like the data analytics field. So I'm basically a fresher in the data analysis field. So I don't have much other experiences to show on the CVs and everything. So uh, all the projects and assignments which you do, just mention you have done all those things in the resumes. So that will obviously will help the recruiters know, okay, he has some ideas with the data analysis, even though he's just completed the course. So that actually helps there. Uh, not from this point of view, uh, like not from the, to the data analyst field, not much, but yeah, like I often do like the other courses, but it is when I play for other, like if, for example, let's say DevOps engineering. Uh, so I was going with the AWS and the Azure ones mostly. So if you are like looking into like, not just a particular scenario here, I was looking to data analytics and some DevOps fields or like a development fields otherwise. So uh, because data analytics, I already have a master's there. So in order for others to go, we need to do a bit, bit of uh, certifications for that one. But even the certifications is, I would say, it depends on the company actually, uh, like all the recruiters. Like if you're mentioning uh, that you, uh, even though you haven't done a completed certifications, I think because many certifications you'll have to pay, uh, go through the exams and everything. Uh, so that's another hectic process, which I didn't actually prefer. So just mention on like, if you have done some learnings on that and if you can mention that on the resume is that obviously helps like that will, the only thing is like, you have to be prepared for the interview once you get into there and once uh, and mostly the interviews also it won't be like that difficult it will be more like a mixer of like interpersonal skills plus the technical skills if you're looking into a experienced roles mostly so yeah uh, most of the technical interviews yep yeah, just <laughs> that was youtube uh google uh then basically all the course materials which we had then uh, did uh, like the first thing which I used to do is like go through the job description, look into like uh, what all are their requirements first. So most of the uh, companies on the job requirements itself, they'll be saying exactly like what type of, like even though they say, for example, just say uh, for a data analyst job, some will say uh, they'll they'll some mention will be there you need python or you'll need some tableau or power bi or some other softwares which you need so before going into an interview like go through those things then just get an idea of like what their requirements are and just uh revise with something and try to understand like most of the interviews i don't think they will just after uh, in a short span of time they will do the interviews like once you get the invitation they usually gives you like at least a three to four days time so during that time period, go through the requirements, uh, what are their requirements and also like go through the company and what projects they're working on. So that usually helps actually mostly with, uh, and go through the courses which they have mentioned or learn the courses there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, I will say, uh, it actually gives uh, an advantage on a particular job, like, but as Vinex said, it depends upon the company. Like, is for some, uh, its reference means just applying directly to the uh, website, like career portal, and just mentioning a name over there. Like, he was mentioned, uh, I was mentioned by this particular person. But for some, like, uh, but majority of the medium sized companies, there, what they'll do is like, uh, Instead of going to the career portal, if I'm referring, uh, for example, Charu or like Vinayaka or anyone, uh, you will be giving me, uh, my CV to me and I'll be like, you know, to like the HR or like applying through our portal, like we have the internal portals. So that puts your CV, like what you say, ahead of it. So in my, SP, uh, like for me, there was like few of the uh, referrals I got uh, from Especially, yeah, like I think within this community itself, that was the most advantage. Like, I, people were helpful to like refer, uh, give the references and some for us from the LinkedIn's, and that did uh, landed me upon like most of the interviews. Like, I'll say not most of the interviews, like around a 20 40 percent interviews was for, because of those referrals itself. 
and it's a bit difficult thing to get a good referral like a good opportunity but always try to get more referrals that obviously makes your resume or like make you a strong candidate for the process or like the job applicant yeah mm -hmm. so uh for like this was like i actually applied for like graduate roles mostly like the in entry level jobs and uh like a mid senior like which is not actually like an entry level let's say so this was like not an entry uh, level job so for right now the job which i'm working here i had to actually go through a bit not much i'll say the interview process was simple for me uh but they will usually go through some technical aspects of the like that ethics field and everything but especially with the graduate roles like or an entry level job uh, especially if you don't have much experience on like the same field those interviews i say it's a bit different not bit different where, like if 60 70% it's different from the normal uh, technical jobs which you get so in the graduate roles which i applied the interview process was mostly they will be looking into your like the behavioral or interpersonal skills and that's a part where you can like it where your patterns will help you actually like you will have a good idea of how to handle like with the people they will go look into your uh teamworks and all those things basically in a graduate level job which i have felt personally is like they mostly look into that uh like how we will whether we will be able to cope with other colleagues and whether we have a good attitude towards the work or like how the how we can like basically uh, how we will be helping them uh more to like without making much issues within the company as a pressure so in a graduate entry level jobs it's uh, always good to uh, and the technical uh, questions will be not much like maybe a very bit less whichever like uh, graduate roles i have interviewed it was all like there was much too much about technical questions which gone to it was always into the interpersonal skills and those ones so yeah contract roles are actually um, my yeah i did consider it like i'll say during the first year of my graduate visa like uh like during the first, basically i'll say during the first six months after coming out of the college because most of the contract jobs i've seen here is like either they give used for a 12 12 years or 18 months it's hard to get a 24 months uh contract job because we should be looking into our critical skills visa process also so uh it was hard to get into a, like a 24 months but as a fresher out of the college i'll say it will help like if you're going into a 12 month or 18 months because again you have some more time once the contract is over you have you got the sp you got your experience then you can apply for within the next months to like get into a better one that so i did uh look into during uh, the first six months but not after that like because yeah then it is not that much helpful of in a future aspect of me let's say yeah. mm -hmm. um the current i'll say that like most of the companies they're hiring a lot these days i'm seeing like uh especially from the last three of three months i'll say the hiring process has completely changed uh like during i think with the COVID started everything the hiring market was a bit dull like not which it was basically it was dull like there was not much hiring going on so but i think now it's a fresh like companies are hiring too many even the graduates entry-level jobs i'm seeing a lot of people getting jobs like what it's it is so fast these days Every, everyone is getting basically job and basically everyone was like trying so hard to get into one of the jobs and i think right now the market is very real good so this is a good time if like if you're a graduate already try applying and it's the best time to like i'll say to look into jobs mostly yeah. thank you yeah thanks sir uh, and before that i'll just take time and uh, want to share one more information uh medvin is one of the guy you know uh, we 
started as a founding member of our you know our DISC that we call in short we don't call it disc normally like sap and S sap <laughs> uh, so medvin is very you know helpful as well as you know time is view as a fresher so today we particularly chose uh, vinaya because he has been experienced in india and medvin as a you know little bit of fresher so flavor of that so you have got real insights about data analytics data sciences data analyst roles these roles which are different designations primarily but these skills are very common uh, where how you should teach yourself i'll take this opportunity and just ask two questions from uh, vinayaka in terms of what is your suggestions to you know current students who are looking for job in as a data sciences or data analyst can they become data scientists from the day one or what is your suggestions and you know your recommendations so your thoughts and be precise if it is a negative also positive also you know share your thoughts on that yep sure uh, like see i mean like I, I, this is for people like who are just to start they're looking to start a career see then data science is a vast field like it's 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 not like just sql or just machine learning it's 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 a variety of skills you need within the data science field so you need to choose what uh, side you want to go is it analytics is it uh, machine learning or is it ai it, it's kind of different it's even engineering it, it's everything is different but again the skill set is a common skill set but the the path is different again it, to learn uh, with respect to that path you need to go for that's for you need to decide is it you need to go for analytics go for the sql uh, go for some analytics like uh, learn some languages with respect to uh, like to analyze the data and then some visualizing tools that's with respect to analytics if you're going for then uh, data scientist as a data scientist then go for this machine learning modeling and then uh, uh, like again this modeling is not now people expect deep learning i mean like they expect to know deep learning in that sense uh, so it, it depends on the path you want to go uh, what your interest within the data science based on that you could decide yeah thanks vinak and uh, one more question for madwin uh, in terms of uh, your uh, finding a fresher job do you think you know uh, this all networking and uh, our initiative of creating as a talent marketplace where we are referring other freshers and students do you think is how it is helpful just your thoughts on that you know uh, uh, yes yeah, so as a fresher or a graduate or i when looking into an entry level jobs uh referrals and this type of networking is not not even as a fresher like if you're going to a senior jobs also like your networking is very much important especially here in ireland like because that can always get you like get you your cv to an attention to the hiring managers or like uh see one of uh for example if here vinayak is the you amit is here if i'm applying to applying to your company if you're giving me a good uh referral to your hr manager that uh, he will remember about that and that obviously will help you in the hiring process so you will be a bit ahead always if with this networking and uh, referrals if you have so i'll say basically try to network as much as possible try to get more connections with people in each uh, uh, industries or like uh, which field you are looking into that will obviously help you on your future career paths